yeah, I think you have to realize, I think the space that you're in. And I think that that's, it's all dependent on like all graphics too. And, and like what message you're putting out there. Right. So if an ad has everything in there and it's supposed to be something you're supposed to click to gain traction to a website, that's, there's no reason for somebody to click it. Right. So it's very similar to anything, you know, from a TikTok perspective, if somebody's scrolling through, like it's got to be exciting. It's got to be fun. It's got to be something that somebody's going to stop and, and watch um, from a video perspective, because that's just the space that it's in. Right. So it's a quick, you know, video kind of style graphic. So it's got to be exciting. It's got to be something that's going to, you know, entice them um, from a social side. It, you know, it, it could be in the same realm, right. From whether it's on Facebook or Instagram, um, those, those components as well. And then also, you know, I'll kind of leave it more open for Greg, but I think from a production side, I know that, you know, sometimes that can get costly, but I think that's, you know, the biggest kind of component when you're putting a brand together of being out into that video space, um, whether it's, you know, streaming services or connected TV or wherever you're going to be placing, you know, the media and stuff like that. I think having, you know, a spot that is wrapped around, you know, showcasing your business, showcasing your brand, having, you know, all your information, you know, in one space that somebody can reference. It's not, you know, tangible, but it's also something they can reference from, you know, future side of things. I think that that's, it's definitely, you know, valuable investment. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we could have an entirely separate uh, webinar on how to use video, how to use branding, <laughs> you know, economically. But um, yeah, I think that, you know, brand, a good brand is going to be, you know, firm and it's going to be strong. But at the same time, it's also going to be like water. Like it's going to take the shape of whatever you pour it into. Right. And we're an integrated, you know, multi-channel, you know, digital first agency. Um, but we, you know, we create campaigns that span the entire, you know, marketing spectrum from very traditional all the way through to the, to the more modern stuff. And your brand's got to be able to fit into all those boxes. And sometimes it's going to change, right? Sometimes it's going to change complexion. But at the end of the day, the essence of your brand is never going to change from channel to channel um, and, and from tactic to tactic. So the brand's got to be, you know, solid, but it also has to be extremely flexible. And that that's the job of your agency or that's the job of, you know, of your, your, your branding partner to, to ensure that that happens. And that starts at, at the, at the conception of the brand. You have to build a brand knowing that, knowing that it's going to, you know, um, traverse that, that, that modern marketing spectrum. And I think to piggyback off what Greg is saying is, I think that comes down to creating that brand loyalty too, for the consumer, right? So if you're changing things on the fly all the time, like, the consumer is going to be like, what's, what's going on with their brand? Why are they, why are they doing this? Right. What's the purpose behind it? Like they start getting confusing. And if you confuse a customer or just somebody who's, you know, attached to the brand, that's where they kind of sometimes drop off too. Right. Because it's not, it's, it's confusing. Right. So I think just making sure the change that you're doing is not necessarily so drastic um, that it's, that they, they get thrown off. Or if you're doing things, you know, in progression, making sure that it's, you know, solid, across any media that you are putting together these, these assets. <laughs>